Hello, good morning. I'm joined by Janos Onodi, the CEO of uh, Mobility Innovation here in Slovakia. Uh, we're here in front of your hydrogen bus. It's great to have you here in our innovation camp um, at the Goodyear FA ETSC race. Tell us a bit more about uh, your latest innovation with the hydrogen bus. First of all, thank you for the opportunity. Yes, uh, we created a spe special hydrogen bus uh, with a composite chassis. And uh, this is the first uh, MIDI bus in Europe which is homologated and it's uh, fully built by our company. Uh, we are a small technological startup, so it's our like uh, uh, work. Where is this bus uh, being used at the moment? We are now doing uh, mainly with this bus uh, promo activities and some testing activities. So we want to show to uh, towns and cities that the hydrogen is not the future, it's a reality, is here. So they can test our bus. And uh, even if we are uh, tanking to this bus only 200 bars and not 350, it's more than enough for one day operation uh, like a city bus. So we, we want to show that it's a reality and we everybody know the, what is the situation now in the world, so we have to hurry up and we have to use our knowledge and our momentum and uh, use this technology now. I believe you've used some uh, innovative uh, approaches with your bus compared to what is on the market. How is your uh, bus different to what is already available? The first and the, I think the most important thing that the whole bus is the is a, a composite bus. So. It hasn't got like a frame or something. It's like uh, I can compare it to the race car. It has got a monocoque, so it's a, it's a composite monocoque. Every steel part of the suspension or the subframe is only glued to the uh, chassis. And this, by this, this bus is the lightest bus in this category. So we don't need a lot of energy to uh, drive this bus. And because of that, we have got a really low fuel consumption, in this case, hydrogen consumption and electricity consumption. And we decided to make this bus with the fuel cell technology, what means that we are creating from hydrogen electricity. We have got smaller battery packs on board. So if we don't need uh, the electricity or energy to the, our drive system, we can uh, have it in our storage in the batteries. Or at the moment when we are creating energy, energy from the fuel cell and we are breaking with the bus, we are recuperating the energy. So our energy storage in this case is uh, our battery system. And uh, which is unique in this bus that it's fully homologated so we can hit the roads tomorrow and we can tank up the bus by hydrogen and we can uh, charge up the bus uh, by the classic charging station. So we can design that we use only EV this bus or with the radio sender system uh, with the fuel cell. What do you think are the main obstacles at the moment for companies to switch to alternatively powered vehicles? I think they have to be motivated. There is one thing that uh, everybody wants to be green and so on, but uh, these vehicles are much more expensive now at the moment because uh, there is not a mass production uh, than the classic diesel variants or, or uh, CNG variants. So I think if they will be uh, dotated from the European Union or, or from some countries and uh, they can cover the extra uh, price of these buses, they will be open to make it because this is the future and everybody wants it. And if we can show them by the clever pilot projects that uh, is reality and there is no more problems with these buses uh, than with the diesel buses, they will, they will switch.